HVR excavator mounted vibratory pile drivers from Hammer and Steel deliver impressive driving and extracting capabilities and can easily be mounted to your excavator utilizing the existing hydraulic circuitry. In this video, we provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to install an HVR attachment. Prior to installation, make sure to check the following. Check oil flow rating of your excavator and adjust to required setting of HVR if necessary. Determine the weight of your sheet pile and check it against the working load limit of the pitching chain. Check the pitching chain condition prior to operation and make sure it is clear of any defects. Check oil level in the hammer gearbox. Add oil as required. Section 1. Prepping your excavator. Release pressure in the hoses if possible and secure the bucket cylinder rod eye to the cylinder barrel. Disconnect the bucket cylinder hoses, collecting spilled oil, and secure the cylinder to the stick. Remove hydraulic tank fill cover. Drill and tap for NPT adapter fitting. Or install a T inline with swing motor case drain. Excavator manufacturers vary and may have other options for case drain. Please contact the Hammer and Steel Service Department if you cannot use these two methods that are mentioned. Section 2. Connecting the HVR to your excavator. Extend the stick. Position the excavator stick end close to the HVR, and then lower the stick and boom to the ground. This will make the hose connections easier. Connect the one inch pressure and return hoses from the HVR to the original bucket circuit hard piping. The red pressure hose should be connected to the bucket cylinder extend piping. The return hose should be connected to the bucket cylinder retract piping. Connect the 3 quarter inch case drain hose from the HVR to either the hydraulic tank cover or the swing motor case drain T. Pin the HVR to the stick and secure the pin to the HVR ears. Section 3. Operating the HVR pile driver. Start the excavator and allow the hydraulic oil to warm up. Before clamping to a pile, make sure the pitching chain is secured through the handling hole of the pile and the length of chain is short enough to catch the pile to prevent equipment damage or injury. Make sure all personnel are clear of the machine, then check HVR clamp close operation by slowly moving the right joystick in correspondence with the original bucket close movement until the clamping pads are completely closed. Release the joystick before the HVR begins to vibrate. Again, before the HVR begins to vibrate, Make sure the clamps are fully closed with the joystick to the neutral position. Then fully engage the joystick to bring the hammer to required operating speed. Check the excavator hydraulic oil level and add if necessary. Do not move the joystick to the bucket open function at any time until you are absolutely certain the piling in the jaws will not be released and damage yourself, other personnel, machinery, or surroundings. Reverse the above procedures to return the excavator to the original bucket configuration. Thank you for watching this video on how to install an HVR excavator mounted vibratory pile driver from Hammer and Steel. If you have any questions, please contact your nearest sales office or submit an online information request form at www.hammersteel.com.